think about this new aesthetic by the way? Like do you prefer this than me standing in the shower? I kind of felt like this is a little bit easier and more pleasing to the eye. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alyssa Marie here just in case you're new. Today I'm going to be digging into the Curlsmith Scalp Recipe products. I'm really excited. So we're going to be doing like a whole demo, a whole review, and then I'm going to give you my overall thoughts on the entire collection. So it's basically this box of products here it comes with three products it's like a three-step scalp system to really get like a detox and deep cleanse for your scalp which is like super important especially if you're like me who likes to use co-wash so we are going to be digging into all of this today but before we do jump straight in please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel i know y'all would never do me like that just sit down and watch my videos and not subscribe I know y'all wouldn't do it. So just hit the button and also make sure you hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every single time a new video drops. All right, now let's get started. Right, so let's dig into this. I'm really excited. So Carl Smith sent me their Detox Microbiome Scalp System. Now first, just off the bat, Carl Smith is one of those brands that I've actually been really, really impressed with because they're one of those brands that whatever product they come out with, I can rest assured and know for sure that they are gonna be curly girl friendly and safe to use. So they are a brand that's really committed to making sure that they're using safe, non-toxic, more natural ingredients. So when you look at all of their products, it always says zero spoons of sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oils. I mean, y'all know me, I love that. So we know that their products are curly girl friendly and safe to use, but are they effective? So first, it comes with this Super Slip Prebiotic Primer. So basically, you're priming your hair and your scalp before you do anything to it. I also really like the fact that on their packaging, they have them numbered. So this is clearly step number one. So the bottle says that this is just a pre-wash treatment for all hair and scalp types. So on the box, it gives a little bit of extra detail. So it's saying that basically, Prebiotics are nutritive compounds that feed the good bacteria on the scalp and fortify the skin's microbiome. Sounds super scientific, but again, this is one of those reasons why I just love this brand. They just really, they do all the work when it comes to thinking about the science of your hair and then you just use the products. Like we get the easy part. You can just trust this brand and I love it. I'm gonna show you guys everything in a minute. I just kind of wanted to go through what these products are and what they're supposed to do first. So after the primer, we then move on to the next product, which is step two, and that's the Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic. So we started out with a prebiotic primer, and then we're going in with the probiotic detox. So you're actually meant to keep the primer on and then apply this directly on top of it. The primer is actually there to prevent like over detoxing and over cleansing of your scalp and your hair. So it's actually protecting your hair while you're doing this like intense wash. So basically from what I understand, this is adding back good bacteria to the scalp and then it's also really clarifying the scalp at the same time. And then for step three, after you wash step two out, you then go in with the postbiotic common conditioner. And this is basically just a cooling conditioner for all hair types and scalp types again. It's a really unique system. I haven't really seen any other brands do three step cleansing systems system specifically for your scalp and scalp health is so so important especially if you're looking to really really grow your hair so I'm really already kind of a fan of the system but let's go ahead and dig in all right so right now I have the Olaplex number three at home hair perfector treatment y'all know that's my ride or die treatment I absolutely love it so I'm gonna go ahead and wash it out so we can then go in with step one which is the primer all right, I'm back. My hair is fully drenched and clean, washed out, and now let's jump into this primer. First things first, I have to mention how good these products smell. Typically, Carl Smith products are pretty fragrant and they smell really, really good, really delicious, and just like super sweet. So I'm basically applying this to my fingertips like this and then kind of just rubbing it in directly to the scalp first and then I will take it through to the rest of my hair. So you're not like saturating your ends with this, but you can bring down excess product from your scalp down to the rest of your hair. So as you all know, I really like to do a deep scalp cleanse like once every month. All the rest of the time, I'm using co-wash to cleanse my hair, so I really like to make sure I give my scalp like a really deep cleanse on a consistent basis because it's so, so important to make sure that your scalp is not like full of buildup because then that's really gonna prevent hair growth. 
All right, so next we are not washing out the primer. We're just gonna go directly on top of this with step number two, which is the wash and scrub detox probiotic that I spoke about earlier. This is really what is going to go ahead and clarify your scalp and your hair. So even though this is a scrub, it doesn't actually feel like there's scrubbies in there. You know how you can usually feel those beads? It doesn't feel like that. Either they're really, really, really fine so that I can't actually feel it, or this uses more like of a chemical kind of scrub in order to really clarify your scalp. It is a scrub shampoo, so yes, it does lather, but again, I'm not too worried about it because this is Curlsmith products. I know that they put only the best of the best healthy ingredients in there, and especially since we went in with the primer first, I'm really not worried about it drying out my hair. Yeah, I do wish this packaging had like a pointy kind of thing to where you could just kind of directly apply it directly to the scalp because then it would be a lot easier to get it right on the scalp. But otherwise, this feels really good right now. It actually feels like a teensy bit tingly, just like just a little bit. You can barely, barely feel it, but it feels kind of good. Like I feel like the cleansing is happening. All right, so I really kind of just focus this mostly on my scalp. And I'm gonna go ahead and wash it out now, but as I'm washing it out, I know the rest of the product is kind of gonna run through the rest of my hair and then give our ends like a nice clean and clarifying as well. All right, boom. We are washed out and I have to say my scalp feels so good. It feels like the slightest bit tingly. You know that minty kind of sensation? Like the slightest. I've used the TPH by Taraji scalp products before and those are like intensely minty. This is very, very, very subtle so far. So in terms of how the rest of my hair feels, it definitely doesn't feel stripped, it definitely doesn't feel dry, but my scalp just feels so good right now. It literally just feels Ugh, it just feels clean. It feels like it got like a legit like a good scrub and I don't know that little tingly subtle feeling just feels amazing All right, so let's go on and dig into the postbiotic common conditioner Which is our final step step three This is meant to restore the microbiome that we just clarified with that super clarifying cleansing shampoo And it's also supposed to help refresh soothe and hydrate the scalp as well I am applying this in sections and I'm really just focusing on my scalp first, but then also bringing the product all the way down to my ends as well. Oh, okay, this one has that minty kind of sensation and it, it does exactly what it says it's gonna do. It just feels super soothing and like nice and tingly and cooling on the scalp. Oh, it feels so good. This is my favorite thing about scalp products when they feel like this. Oh, feels amazing. Wow, this feels so good. So honestly, like it started off as like a subtle tingle, but the longer that the conditioner sits on your scalp, it feels like heaven. Oh my gosh, I love it. Again, I still don't think it's as intense as the TPH by Taraji scalp products, but oh my gosh, it still feels so, so good. So this is obviously a scalp conditioner. I did go ahead and apply it to the rest of my hair, but obviously because it's a scalp conditioner, it's not as moisturizing and nice like in your hair. I mean, it feels fine, it feels okay, but my hair could use a little bit of extra moisture. So I'm definitely gonna go in with a deep conditioner after this, just to make sure that my curls themselves get the extra nutrients that they need as well. This feels so good. Oh my gosh, the tingle is just, all right, so I am gonna go ahead and wash this out. I'm gonna go back in with a deep conditioner and then I'm gonna style. I'll go through this part of the video pretty quickly because you guys always see me do my little wash and goes, my deep treatments, my styling all the time. And I'm really just trying to focus on the scalp recipe products for this video. So I will kind of zoom by that a little bit more quickly. And then at the end, we will discuss my final thoughts on the scalp system. So for treatment, I'm going in with the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I'm actually gonna use this with my hot head so that we can add some heat here. And then after we're done with all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and style. So for styling, I'm using my current favorite leave-in conditioner, which is the Care Care Curl Essence Moisturizing Leave-in Conditioner. And then for hold, I'm going in with the Weed Dad Heat and Humidity Gel. And then on top of that, I'm going in with the Curl Maker just for a little bit of extra shine. Once all the styling products have been applied, I'm just going in with my diffuser and then voila, we're done. Ta-da! All 
right, let's get into my final thoughts about this. Right now, my scalp still feels so good, so cleansed. It just feels very refreshed and cool. It's not tingling anymore, unfortunately, I kind of miss it. But some time has definitely passed, and right now, it just feels good and clean. I can't explain it any better than that. So on to the shampoo. You guys know how I feel about shampoos. I'm definitely a co-wash girl, but as I was saying throughout this video, I do like to do that super deep clarifying cleanse for my scalp in order to make sure that I'm staying away from any unhealthy buildup on my scalp. Because this was a shampoo, I kind of was like, eh, let's see, like, is it going to be over drying? But I think because of the three step system that we've got going on here with the primer and then this, I really think helped my hair still get super clean but also not be fully stripped. So I really, really liked how the primer and the clarifying shampoo work together. I will say that I have used a Curly Girl Friendly shampoo before on this monthly deep cleanse and it was terrible. It was a micellar water shampoo that was meant to have all these healthy ingredients, meant to just clean your scalp, a nice deep clean without being stripping. And oh my gosh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen when I tried to style my hair after using that product, it was an absolute nightmare. My hair was so stripped that it was like the roots were super fluffy. It wouldn't really define. It was just very frizzy and a hot mess express. So I'm really glad that I didn't experience that with this shampoo. Like look, my hair actually looks pretty defined, pretty good, nice and moisturized. And again, my scalp just feels bomb. So another successful product experiment with Pearl Smith. I'm actually really, really, really impressed with this brand. Honestly, I think I will say that like the trust and the love that I had in Diva Girl once before is kind of how I feel about Pearl Smith now. I just like any product they come out with, I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta try it, you know? So I feel like really happy about this find with this brand. And similar to Zebra Curl, I know their products are a little bit more on the higher end side, but I genuinely feel like they're so, so worth it. And if there is anything that you purchase from Curl Smith, I really would suggest the scalp system just because it is so good and so necessary for your scalp. You might actually also find that when you start taking care of your scalp more that your hair will respond as well and be happier and healthier too. So scalp products in general is something that I am a huge fan of and these for sure, 10 out of 10 recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. What do you guys think about this new aesthetic, by the way? Like, do you prefer this than me standing in the shower? I kind of felt like this is a little bit easier and more pleasing to the eye than me like drenched, looking like a wet rat in the shower. Um, but comment below, let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer this or do you prefer me actually being in the shower? If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, if you didn't get a chance to subscribe in the beginning, you can do so now and then check out these next two videos. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.